it's to the point where girls gotta size up like two sizes. Like that's insane for me. Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles. So the question is, are luxury handbags worth it? Yes and no. In this video, I wanna show you guys some of the things that I've purchased at full price and some that I purchased at outlets. And that is solely because that no part of the question is why I did that. First, I wanna get into luxury brands in a whole. We know that there are designers who make and design items from clothes to bags to shoes that are not great quality, that hurt your feet, that cost thousands of dollars, but yet and still, people always buy the items because of the name. When it comes to buying luxury items, I'm very careful on what I buy. Everything I buy is not luxury. I have a ton of stuff in here that are from high street brands that are great quality or from brands that a lot of people do not shop at. And I tend to shop there because I like the item. So I'm going to show you some of the bags that I purchased full price and some bags that I got at the outlet and some bags that I actually waited till they actually went on sale. <laughs> and you guys already know how I feel about sale shopping. I don't necessarily like it because you buy things that you don't need and probably won't wear. More so buying things that's on like a luxury wish list or some sort of wish list or in your cart and you haven't pulled the trigger. That means you really want it and it went on sale so now you can get it. So let's get into the first bag that I actually purchased from an outlet that was a steal and you guys have seen this bag a ton of times. I like to show this bag is because this bag was retailing for like almost $4,000. Child got it for half price and I wish I would have got the bag in green as well. Okay and that is my Gucci trunk bag. So I keep saying trunk bag, and I think it's called a trunk bag, but it's this bag right here. You guys have seen this so many times. A beautiful bag. Like, it's just, ugh, this bamboo part, amazing. I had this bag for maybe four years now, I want to say. Really great. It does have the feet on the bottom, which is a plus for the girls who like to go out and put their bags down a strap that is good for someone who is tall you guys already know how i feel about those bags and they're like sitting on the hip area for tall people it just doesn't look good but this is something that i bought at the outlet in florida in fort lauderdale this was a steal okay i don't care <laughs> how many times i show you guys this bag this was a steal it's really it's a really just a really nice bag like it's so, it's made so well. And I usually keep my tissue in it, I'll put it back, but it's very clean, very nice. I am cautious with the inside because it's a light color. But in reality, if you can buy something at an outlet that you have seen the bag already in store, get it. Now, I did hear that sometimes the outlets will carry things that would never hit the store. I don't know how true that is, um, and I don't know if it's specific designers but this is one bag that i bought at an outlet and i think it's worth it even if i wanted to buy this bag full price i probably would have because i like it so much it's structured and for me structured bags give off a bit more elevated look as opposed to something that is like like a like hobo style but even if it's a hobo but it has to be structured but this is something that i purchased at an outlet and i think it was definitely a steal so that was a bag that i got for half price um i still would have purchased that bag if it was full price because i like it that much if you're trying to build like a really nice collection um slow pace definitely do it this way start going to these outlets pre-loved guys is your best friend there's a lot of ladies and girlies who have a ton of bags and they swap out their bags quite a lot and they sell them. They be in great condition, so don't sleep on that. All right, so the other bag that I actually purchased on sale, okay, was the Monsoor Gabriel Cloud Clutch. I just did a video on that bag, but this is the white version. I paid full price for the taupe color and for the white version, I paid half price. So the white is amazing, still same, quality lambskin lambskin inside and outside the bag 
this is I can't come too close because it's it's a white bag, um, but it's a, such a nice bag. Oh my god! I think I told you guys my issue with the bag when I got it was that it came in a box that wasn't like their box. I don't know if that makes sense. So I was kind of curious. I'm like, are they doing this because it's a sale item? So I did reach out and they said that they're trying to cut costs because the box that it came in was a really nice box. Um, but I also feel like they should still do some sort of box because it was thrown in the shipping box in a dust bag. The dust bags are really nice. They're really thick, so maybe that's why they did it. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> this is something that I got on sale. So is this worth it? It's not necessarily a luxury bag, but I think it's worth it because I got a steal for it for half price and it was something that I already wanted and it actually went on sale. So yes, this is worth it for me and my wardrobe. The goal of this video is to make sure that you're getting things and buying things that you like and not what everybody else is wearing, if that makes sense. But for me, <laughs> the Cloud Clutch Bottega was nice, but I didn't want to pay that price. I just felt like I like this one a little bit better because it has this detailing right here and it's more my speed. I can grab it. I can put a lot of stuff in here um, but this was definitely worth it because I got it on sale and I already wanted it and I purchased that bag from Monsieur Gabrielle's website no um, outlet or anything like that which was perfect for me got a half price and I was good to go when it comes to shopping at an outlet I am also a firm believer of buying things that are classic colors um, that I can wear over and over regardless of if the bag is like super like on trend or not if it works well with my wardrobe I'm gonna get it which leads me to this YSL bag I told you guys the story about this bag I just so happened to be googling it one day and I wanted something that didn't have any hardware from YSL and this popped up someone had it on YouTube I looked it up it was discontinued I go to the outlet in Florida and boom I see this as, as I walk in and I was like oh my god I have to have it it's structure it's really nice it's a good size for someone who is tall and I absolutely love it I got it in two colors the other one is like a peanut butter color because it's not it's not really beige or taupe um, but a really really nice bag if you are not checking out your local outlets guys you are missing out okay really nice bag it's a good size definitely full size wallet can fit in here um but yeah definitely check out your local outlets if you stay to this part of the video make sure you are liking the video guys below now let's get back into gucci gucci used to have annual sales i want to say they stopped in 20 i want to say 2016 because I think it was still here in 2013, 14, and 15. But when they used to have their annual sales, they should do it again. They would have really nice bags uh, on sale. And my favorite collection that they used to have on sale was the Soho collection. Guys, this is a really old bag. And I'm not gonna get rid of it. Like, I'm just not. Like, it's such a nice bag. The chain is nice on the bag. Um, I just got a bunch of papers in here. The chain is nice. Just a really, really nice, it's an orange color. It's really grainy. I don't know if you guys can even see. It's really grainy. Really, really nice bag. It is not structured, but it's sort of, kind of. I love the Soho collection so much, so that I got another one. Well, I got two Soho bags, three. What I love about the Solo collection is that the grain of the leather. I'll show you guys the other one that I got, and it's more of like a Boston style bag. It's old, <laughs> but I do not want to get rid of it because I believe these bags are so nice, and the leather is just amazing. It's pretty big, but let me tell you, you know how they say, oh, get rid of your stuff you haven't worn in years? I'm not, not not these, <laughs> because I really like the quality of them. They're really nice. Gucci does have great leather. I'm not gonna take that away from them, okay? YSL has great leather as well. So if you're going, in Bottega, they do. They have really great leather. If you're going to pay for something, get 
something that is leather. Try to stay away from anything that is canvas like those bag on. <laughs> we love them so much because they're such a classic. But those LV bags, anything that has any canvas. You can get them, but I don't think you have to spend a ton of money on them. But this is another Soho collection bag. Really nice. Absolutely love it. It's so old. Like it's. I just got pink tissue paper in here. This is imprinted from God knows what, whatever that is. But I absolutely love it. I actually paid full price for this one. So the orange one I did get on sale. At the sale, annual sale. This one I actually paid full price for. So it's really a toss up when it comes to these bags, guys. Luxury bags are worth it if you're buying it for the quality if you're buying it, if it fits your wardrobe aesthetic, if you're gonna get your cost per wear out of it, and if it's something that you really, really love and are going to literally have it for a long time. It's not good if you're just buying something based off of the name. Because here's where you mess up. You end up buying something that's not great quality. Let's talk about those Christian Louboutins, okay? For the girls who wear them, you already know that they hurt your feet. But people buy them because they love the red bottom and they like the designer. But it's really not worth it because you have to like literally put them on, sit in the car, walk to your destination and sit right back down. That is not good cost per wear. That's not good shopping. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how much money you have. If you're shopping like that, it's just really not a good way. It's to the point where girls gotta size up like two sizes. Like that's insane for me. Like the Jimmy Choo shoes that I told you guys that I had to size up to a 13. Jimmy Choo is not hurting my feet. They just run small. Christian Louboutin, they're hurting the girl's toes so they have to size up. <laughs> so in those cases, you don't wanna buy something just because of the brand of it or because everybody else has it. If it's not something that fits with your style, your personal style, or your wardrobe aesthetic, don't get it. Like, it's just not worth getting it because you're gonna end up wasting money, child, and who wants to do that in 2024? Is luxury worth it? It is, in my opinion, when you're buying certain things, like fine jewelry. Jewelry is a lot of money, okay? So if you're buying fine jewelry, that's a luxury. If you're buying um, coats, luxury coats, you can tell, okay? If you're buying jackets from high street brands, you still wanna get something that is a great, great quality. But when it comes to bags, I do think it's worth it. You got Hermes, I'm not an Hermes girl, so I probably will never get one. I don't really like how the bag kind of reminds me of a work bag, kind of. I don't know, just I don't like it. Um, but they do have bags that look similar at a fraction of the price that you can get and still get the same look as an Hermes bag. Those are worth it because you can resell them. Chanel is still worth it. Even though a lot of the girls are like, they're not buying Chanel um, new anymore because of the price increase. But you can get these things on pre-loved markets for like half of the price, okay? It is worth it in certain instances and in some it's not if you're just buying something just for the brand name itself. So thank you guys for tuning in. This is just a quick little video about luxury bags and are they worth it? And I wanted to show you guys some of the bags that I purchased full price and some bags that I actually got on sale or at an outlet. All right guys, if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style services, Coco Styles NYC and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.